let's talk about pygmy seahorses. This is the pygmy seahorse. Now, there's actually multiple species of these, and all of them are, who would have thought, incredibly small. The largest range at just around two centimeters long total, and the smallest ones can get so small that you can barely see them. They're found in the Indo-West Pacific Ocean around coral reefs and coastal areas and can be found on the coasts of places like New Caledonia, Australia, the Philippines, and Indonesia. They're most abundant in an area called the Coral Triangle, which has a lot of the coral and other stuff that these guys like to live on. Pygmy seahorses tend to only be found on one specific type of coral depending on their species, usually a soft coral or a fan coral, or in some cases, seagrasses. They have quite good camouflage, as you can see in this one. This guy does look a lot like this coral. Now, pygmy seahorses are a relatively newly discovered species and were pretty much discovered entirely on accident when a sea fan, a type of coral, was being studied and the researchers were like, hey, what the fuck, there's seahorses here. Thus marking the discovery of the first known instances of pygmy seahorses. The majority of the pygmy seahorse diet consists of small floating crustaceans and other stuff just kind of floating around in the water. When they spot something they want to eat, they kind of pull a vacuum with their mouths and suck in the food and then profit. They're more ambush predators, again due to their very good camouflage, and they spend the majority of their lives on one single, like, individual coral. They do kind of move around on that coral, but there are some species of pygmy seahorses that spend their entire lives in an area about the size of a mid-sized dinner plate. Because they're so ridiculously small, pygmy seahorses tend to have some adaptations that regular seahorses don't have, such as having only one gill opening instead of two, and when the seahorses give birth, um, out of the males, like all seahorse species, females don't give birth, instead the females impregnate the males. The males store the unborn seahorses in their abdomen instead of in the tail pouch like in other seahorse species. All around, these guys are very cute and very weird and very rare and hard to see.